Welcome to Lakeshore. I'll be walking you through your fusion impact. In the very front compartment here, you're gonna have your generator. You're gonna have your prime and stop button down here. Push and hold for priming. Just push it one time for your stop. Push and hold for start. You're gonna have start your generator with your breakers off. When the generator is running after about a minute, turn them on. You have to have, make sure the cover is on it. It will overheat. Coming to the right here, you're gonna have two 30-pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator is gonna be in the center here. Docking lights. That's gonna be the the lights on the very front cap. Right to the right here on the driver's side, you're gonna have your leveling system powered on. You're gonna show. Um, it's gonna all light up for a minute, and then after these, the light ups go away from operational low voltage, then you're able to operate your leveling system. Up and down is pretty self-explanatory on what leg you're choosing to move up and down. Auto level is gonna level out your unit. Auto retract will retract all the jacks. To the right here, you're gonna have your, your hydraulic fluid. You're gonna have it, your inlet station as well as access into the passenger on both sides. You're going to have inlet for water. You're going to put the water in here. You're going to be able to choose if you want city water or fill the tank on the unit. Black tank flush on the very bottom. The very top spigot is going to be winterization. So when you're winterizing it for the winter time, you got your bypass as well as uh, your winterization valve. You have to have this on to use it out of this port. Very top there, you're going to find yourself outdoor shower, hot and cold. My key TV set, uh, satellite and cable, the battery disconnect your poles you're gonna have another pole right by your dump here's gonna be your water heater furnace exhaust there's your dump there you're gonna have the gray pole there also coming in the rear of the axles you're gonna have the 50 amp hookup as well as your your auxiliary nozzle to fill up uh, fuel for your generator here your auxiliary fill station is gonna be inside the actual door here your fuel pump Rear, the rear side you're going to have the drop down gate as well as the porch with the rear awning. Coming to the rear here you're going to find the rear door. This rear door is going to go to the garage. Yeah, outdoor speakers here. These outdoor speakers will be controlled from inside. The second door is going to be your main door. Inside your passenger you're going to have a 15 to 30 amp adapter, 30 to 15 amp adapter, sewer hose. This side here you're going to have your 12 volt battery going inside your unit. Inside your unit, right to the right, you're going to have your monitoring panel. You're going to have three slides. Each of them have their individual controls. AC, you're just going to tap the mode. That also controls your furnace. You're going to tap the mode until you get it to AC, heat, or fan. Up and down is going to be just your temps. Light switch is there. Anything not labeled in your unit is going to be light awning control there. So we're going to start from the master bedroom and work our way back. Master bedroom has the AC that is controlled by the AC I just showed you. Leave these doors open and let the AC flow through the living room. You're going to have your living room or your bedroom light here. You have individual tap lights above each side of the bed as well as charging stations on each side. Master bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. You got a your G5 breaker right next to the sink. You got a light switch there. Everybody knows how to operate a bathroom. Coming down, the keys are on the counter here. You're gonna have your microwave will be best indicator if you have short power or it's on and working. You at least have 30 amps. Right below, you're gonna find yourself a stove top. Turn your knob over the little flame, use your igniter on the left side. Now coming over here, you're gonna have your entertainment center. This is gonna be your TV as well as your radio. Now your radio is gonna have zones on it. A, B, and C down on the bottom. That's going to control the speakers. Right to the left here is going to be your monitoring panel to control the levels as well as you can start your generator from in here and turning on your uh, water heater, gas, and electric in your water pump. You'll push and hold here to be able to tell your levels. Push and hold the buttons. Right, at, right to the left you're going to have a generator. Exact same operation just out there. Um, water pump water heater electric side water heater gas side you got a nice loft area up above lights on the slider controlled right to the left there going into your garage 
or bunk room, whatever one you're going to use it for. You got two light switches right up above your head as well as the bed lift control. The bed lift control here, that's going to operate the bed and the couch. Operating this bed, it is not on the track system, so you got to use the couch that is. So you're going to have to raise the couch all the way, pull the pins, you're going to find one at each corner, and then lower the couch. And that bed will come down. There's little pegs in the track system. They are adjustable. If you move one, move all the others. That's going to help uh, adjust that bed higher or lower. There is a, your steps for the loft area. Above, you're going to find you have some nice storage. AC, to control the AC in here, you're going to have that same thermostat. Um, you are prepped and ready for a washer and dryer. Hope this video helped. Thank you for choosing Lady Shore. Have a great day.